then there's one other thing we can do. And that's this. Remember the scripture passages. Years ago, as Baptists, we were very good at always uh, memorizing the scripture passages. We always, I, I don't know why we did that so well years ago. I suspect for a number of reasons. Uh, but maybe we relied upon one translation of the Bible, the King James Version. That's really all we had. We all used that. Uh, maybe there are any a number of reasons. I'm not sure. But we don't do that as well as we used to, memorizing Scripture. But we would do well to do that. Think about the Scripture passages that are important to you. Let me share a couple that come to mind. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says this, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. In the midst of the storm, part of what that reminds us of is this simple truth. I will make it through this storm. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know when that's going to be. And I will not do it by my own power. But I will do it by the grace and strength and mercy of God who is with me always. Maybe you'll think of the 23rd Psalm. Maybe the whole chapter but particularly the fourth verse that says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for God is with me. You might change and say it this way, even though I journey through this storm right now, I will not fear, because God is with me. Just a few weeks, we're going to be celebrating Christmas. I can hardly wait. The first Sunday of Advent is only about three weeks away. If you've not done it, here's a wonderful exercise. Read the first two or three chapters of the Gospel of Matthew and the first two or three chapters of the Gospel of Luke. You'll find the Christmas stories there. But if you read it, watch for these three words. Don't be afraid. How many times, even in the Christmas story, where there's great joy and celebration, you hear God through the angels saying to people like you and me, don't be afraid. For me, in the times of the storms of my life, when it's dark and dreary and I don't know what to do, I remember that passage from the book of Psalms I learned in vacation Bible school years ago. Psalm chapter 56, 3, that says, When I'm afraid, I will trust in God. It doesn't give me all the answers to how the storm's going to end. It doesn't tell me when the storm's going to end. But it reminds me of the source of strength who guides me through the storm every moment of every day.